Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We have a real treat for you today. This is a custom Space Marine Scottish Force, which Ben has completed. A uh, really cool project and you're gonna see loads more of it in this video. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our minimum level, which is a bronze above tabletop quality, all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, if you'd like a quote, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form on our website. Follow that link, complete the contact form by selecting the drop down options that are relevant for you. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that contact form uh, and fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome project in more details. See you guys back in a sec. So to start off with for this custom Space Marine Force, let's have a look at the captain. Uh, now Ben has spent a lot of time getting this guy to have a lot of personal character. Uh, a lot of work has been done on, done on him just to get him very, very unique. Um, so right from the get-go, hair has been sculpted on. You've got a, a, this uh, lovely extra loincloth sort of uh, personal sort of cloak that's been done there. And it's got obviously a very unique pattern on it as well. Um, now our client wanted obviously Marines with a Scottish vibe. And as you can see here, we have done our absolute best to not disappoint. Um, we've actually got a, a very sort of resemblance to William Wallace <laughs> in the sense of the uh, facial tattoos, or not tattoos, but facial war paint, um, personal uh, heraldry as well in the sense of the little bits and bobs that have been added on there, and also the tartan, which has uh, been spent a lot of time researching to get it to as realistic as possible. Uh, and then we move around the back, you can see a lovely complimentary sort of cloak yellow to that armour as well, just that so stands out, that yellow against the blue. Um, a completely brush blended sword here. And just to show you guys, obviously, with us being character specialists this is what we can do to create a very unique personal character for you as well uh, just to show the level of detail work that we'll put in to just give you that really really unique character that you want so you can see all the lenses and everything that have been done in that complementary green as well, which we'll see throughout the force as, as we go through the models. Um, and the basing style, which, which I'll go on about through the video, is also in a very sort of a Scottish Highland kind of thing with some lavender as well on there, um, sort of just to add that sort of real sort of Highland kind of thing to the armour. Now, throughout the video, you'll see all the models. They've got this lovely blended uh, armoured kind of a finish to them. So it's just had a load of contrasts, as in darker colour, glazed to lower portions of the armour. So certain areas will be brighter and darker just to add that real tonal variants to the models um, but again really really cool uh, captain model I'll just get this to focus super close so you can see him in all his detail uh, he's bellowing away there with his massive beard and uh, war paint on as you can see uh, but overall a really really cool unique captain to lead our clients force uh, and again I mentioned we are character specialists so if you are looking for a character to lead your army and a real centerpiece model uh, we're the chaps that you should contact uh, coming up next you've got all the tactical marines from this force and also we have the Venerable Dreadnought at the end. So stick around, they're coming up next. See you guys back in a second. So next up, let's have a look at the 10 tactical Marines uh, from this force. And it's really cool to see some non-Primaris Marines being used by our clients. Uh, really cool models. I'm still a huge, huge fan of them. Uh, and I, I do still think that they are they hold up very, very well when it comes to, to painting as well, and also modeling. Um, so let's dive in and have a look at these Marines. Now they're all painted to, as I said, a gold level, which is a very, very high quality level uh, with loads of extra details all painted on them and extra sort of highlighting done throughout on all the edges and everything. Uh, so you can see every aspect to detail fully painted and Ben's done some lovely freehand here of this uh, Scottish cross on all the pads as well uh, and the, the Marines have a lot of uh, sort of glazing done on them to add contrast to lower portions as well uh, obviously with the lights here it's quite bright but the uh, the blue is very vibrant as well but uh, in hand they have loads of contrast all glazed onto them which is really really cool uh, so that's just the first one we'll, pull, we'll move through the 10 of them just so you can see them in a little bit more detail but I, I do also like the uh, the Highland basing that Ben has done on these with loads of lavender as well which is quite cool uh, and you can see all the little scratches and nicks and things that have been done onto those armor panels there on the marine as well. But loads and loads of extra sort of time and attention has been put onto these to really give them that super, super high-end quality. Uh, we've got the sergeant here who is magnetized and all the, do bits, all the bits do come off, but he is fully magnetized. You've got a lovely brush blended blade there. He's got a free-handed uh, Scots flag on the uh, on his backpack. And also you've got a load of uh, facial sort of, uh, uh, sort of um, war paint that's been painted on. Plus also some very, very cool tartan in between 
between on his uh, loincloth as well, which is lovely. Uh, so as you can just see, moving around here, you've got the plasma pistol with loads and loads of glow effect done on it as well, which is really nice. Lovely, lovely brush blended blade here as well, as I mentioned already. Uh, but overall, a really, really cool high-end finish for these awesome, unique custom marines. We'll pull forward the missile launcher dude as well here. Really, really cool on him. He's got, obviously, more battle damage on his pad. You've got the missile launcher here as well that he's wielding. Uh, he's good for close combat or long range. <laughs> so, which is great. Um, and then we'll pull forward the other chap from the back so you can have a look at him as well. Again, another awesome pose here as if he's just scouting for a target, which is really cool. Uh, and lovely complimentary green lenses on all these Marines as well on their helmets, which is good. An extra little sort of pouches and guns and grenades have all been added to these as per our client's request as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just the first five. We'll pull forward the Flamer dude so you can have a look at him again. He's obviously got all these eyes and everything fully painted. As you can see, he's got some war paint that's been sort of glazed onto the skin as well, which is really cool. So that's just the Flamer from the unit. Uh, and then we move across and pull the other marines as well here so you can just see the amount of work that's been gone into these but all the edging is super crisp and super sort of highlighted through multiple stages to really give that sort of uh, vibrancy to the armor again the lighting is quite bright here and these these this blue is very very vibrant uh, as you can probably see on camera anyway um, but those lovely green complementary lenses there as you can see uh, have all been painted in a lovely fashion uh, just pulled in forward another one so you can see him a little bit of battle damage there on the casing of the bolter as well just a little bit of scuff marking just like on the armored pad uh, but all those free-handed uh, scott crosses on the pads as well which is really cool and uh, this is the last one from the 10-man unit so that's just him I do hope you like them up next we're gonna have a look at the dreadnought he's coming up shortly see you guys back in a second Last up, we're gonna have a look at the Dreadnought from this small Space Marine Custom Force. Really cool model. It's a venerable, obviously, as you can see right from the get-go, and uh, all the extra options are done for the model as well. But you can see on this, in the lighting, how you've got Ben's glazed that contrast onto the lower portions of the uh, all the panels. And the same is done on the Marines, but obviously, because they're very, very close to camera and bright, you probably couldn't see it as well. Uh, but on the Dreadnought, the larger flat surfaces, you can see it really nicely. Um, Ben's done a stellar job on all the gold work, um, loads of contrast added to that. You've got the lovely, blue plasma glow as well which is just really nice those scott crosses that have been free-handed onto the legs and the inner shields every lens and everything fully picked out lovely white helmet for this chap as well uh, with complementary green lenses moving around all the scriptures that are done on all the purity seals as well which is really nice moving around the back you can see obviously the little lens behind so you can see behind him uh, which is an actual little detail that we've just painted on there all the smoke stacks and everything done with some weathering as well just so soot effects You've got the mechanical symbol on there as well uh, but everything done to a lovely lovely fashion a really really cool model as you can see with that Scottish it's kind of Highland kind of basing done on these as well with all the lavender uh, but that's just the dreadnought from this awesome force guys uh, we'll come back in a second to have a look at the whole force again in its glory and find out a bit more about how you can take a commission without us here at Siege see you guys back in a second Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys, and I do hope you've liked this awesome Scott Marine commission. I know Ben thoroughly enjoyed working on it and adding all that flair to it. Uh, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then all you need to do very simply is head to the link that's uh, in the description of this video where it says get a quote, and uh, that takes you to our website's contact form, which you need to complete by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project from those available, and then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get a process started and get a quote back from us. Um, if also as well in the description of the video you can find all the links to our social media so instagram twitter and facebook please go give us a like and follow respectively on those to keep up to date with everything we're doing on them and finally while you're here on youtube a couple of things number one if you're not a subscriber subscribe to the channel so you can see more cool models like these and also if you hit the bell icon you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video as well so if you can do that that'd be great finally let us know in the comments what's your favorite Space Marine chapter. We'd really like to know and you have a chat with you guys in the comments. I hope you liked the video and I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys. So thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.